the EG Jewel Lapidary. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, the geo clamp that I designed and built for the 10 inch saw. A lot of people wanted to do that. I had the one that goes in the larger saw which is 14 and up, uh, 16 inches, 18 inches and so forth. Uh, but it wouldn't fit into the smaller, uh, the smaller saw which is the 10 inch because even the system is a little bit different for the clamping uh, or the vise itself is a little bit different. So let me show you what I have here and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Uh, this, is, this is the one already assembled and I got a rock here uh, just to show you and as you can see you have two bolts adjustable on the top and two bolts at the bottom. Now the reason I left this one here is because it's already held on three bolts, one on the top and two on the bottom. And anything that uh, you want to grab, three points will actually grab anything. And the reason I left this one here is just to show you how that strong it is. However, if you have this situation, what you do is you take that bolt out, really, you could adjust it, you could bring it down here and you have two bolts uh, to hold the rock from the top. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything out and I'm going to show you how it's assembled and how it's put together. Now as you know, there is the two um, wing nuts that they go on the top and once you loosen them, this one comes up. So I'm going to take all this out and I'm going to show you what you need to do in your saw because every saw, every 10 inch saw is a little bit different than uh, than the other ones which is uh, different models or different uh, manufacturers, uh, they make them different. This one here, it was actually, it has two type of vices, one that will move in this way and also the one that goes on the top. The problem with that was um, the, the one on the side, it's steel plates about this high. So the top portion could not go any further than where this plate is. And that created, well, it didn't create a problem, uh, but uh, if the rock is a little bit smaller than that or lower, uh, then I have to put a spacer, which I used to use. Uh, um, wood spacer, put them inside and, and lock it. So I had to take all this out in order to adapt this one to it. So let me show you. This is one piece that goes on the top here and this here there is a nut that goes on one side only and this is the stopper. This what it will stop the height for you. So this is going to be adjustable. You can adjust it by hand and once you do that it will adjust the height of where, depending on the rock that you're going to put in, it will adjust that. So this I'm going to take out and okay, this goes out and all the saws they have two pins, threaded pins or rods for your vise to go up and down. So we're using the same thing here. Now I'm going to unscrew this and I, actually I'm going to screw it from the bottom just to be a lot faster than going from the top. Okay, so uh, this is one rod. Okay. And this is the second one right here. I'm just going to take it out. <coughs> and you can see that the bottom also, it is similar to the top plate. So both of them are the same. They have different position of these bolts to go in. And these are the ones that are adjustable in order to uh, clamp your rug. So there's two on the top, two on the bottom. Now, your vise here, once you take it apart and you take it out, 
take the top one out, take the bottom portion out, you have these two uh, rods, threaded rod, and they're roughly, I believe they are uh, 3 eighths of an inch rods. So what it is, well, last one hand, okay. Um, what it is, is they go, they fit into the plate. And so what you need to do is you fit it in or leave it in what it, what it is. And what you need to do here is lock it down. Actually, I'm going to take this one out so I can show you this here the proper way. So when if, if you order one and you get it, this is how you're going to need to do. So I'm going to actually do it the, the long way so this way you understand what we're doing. So this here. Okay, I'm going to take this one out. Okay, so once you take everything out, uh, you have the two rods uh, that they will fit right here. And they go with the lock nut. So, what you need to do is make sure they are tight. So, we're going to put one in and make sure it doesn't protrude from the bottom. So, here you can feel it. And once it's in, lock the nut on the top. Make sure that this is tight. Okay, so this is here. Now I'm going to take the other one and you do the same thing. So, fit this one first. This one inside. It's in position just you tighten it here okay now we have these two are nice and tight but since each machine is a little bit different and the width is different so if you're going to order one you need to find out the distance between centers from here to there you need to have this dimension you need to have the diameter of of the uh, threaded rod. So when I make the uh, the top and bottom plate, um, the holes will be done in the, in the right position. So now once you do that, we're going to put this one in here. And like I said before, these bolts are adjusted. So when you look here, these are could go anywhere, adjusting uh, at any position. Okay, so you put them here. Okay, then add in a washer and a nut. So this here is going to go all the way down to lock it in position. This got to be tight. So this is not going to move. The only thing that you might need to adjust is the position of these bolts. So we're putting these two in. Now we add the washers. Now we're putting the nut. And we tighten everything down. Okay, now these are in position. All you have to do is just make sure the are tight because the bottom one doesn't move. Now you take the the top one is going to go in, but before you do that, you need to put you gotta you gotta add in this top nut, which is this one here. Put this one. Here. This is going to be adjustable. It's going to go up and down depending on the height of your rock. And this is, uh, you put it on this side, it's easy to get at uh, when you're working. So, put it here, is the other nut that goes at the bottom. And basically, this will go down at the bottom, down here. So, 
when I put this one on top, the holes on the top, they are larger than the diameter of the rod. Well, the reason for that is the top has to be loose. It has to go sideways and it has to go this way also. And this, the reason for that is to conform to your rock. So the rock, it has odd shape all the time. And we know that anything will sit on two points. So when the rock sits here, it's gonna sit between two points and it's gonna sit, doesn't matter how shape it is. The top one, we need it to conform to the shape of your, your rock. So it's gonna move in order to hold it. Like I showed you before also, one only will do it, but make sure that you get both of them on top. So now this one will go on the top here, just like that. And that's now where it's gonna stop. On top of that, you have two washers right here. And you also have the wing nuts that you gotta add in. So this is the wing nuts here. This one out. Okay, so now we got them here and we need to get a rock to put it in. So if I have, I don't know, I got this one here. That, that looks really neat rock. I don't know what, what it is, but I was looking for one and I found this one. I might even have to cut it. Okay, so right now this one will sit here on these two. Okay, uh, maybe I don't need that much out. Because remember, you got to make sure that you don't cut the bolts. So we're here like that. Uh, I got to lower this one. And at the same time... I can see that this bolt is, is a little bit away uh, from it. So what if I bring it over? So I'm going to take this one out. Like that. And this is a quarter inch bolt. So if you cut them or you break them, just you can always buy some new ones. From the hardware store. Okay, so now okay, we got this one here. I'll set it up on the two points down at the bottom. I'm gonna have it up here. Okay, now this stop, maybe I'll lower just a touch. Like that. And once that is in, okay, first thing you do is get this one. Don't tighten it too much, just, just set it up so it, it sets on the stop nut. Lower this one down. If you don't do that, what's going to happen? This, the top plate is going to go down too much, and you don't want that. You want it to be adjusted. So now you tighten this, okay, now it just grab it. Tighten this one a little bit more and make sure this is tight. So you go down with this one, okay? And what's happening is you're grabbing this rock so hard that it's not gonna move anywhere, okay? And now you can adjust your distance where you wanna cut it. So one thing you gotta make sure that the bolts, um, did not protrude it too far that unnecessarily. You just want to have them out in order to grab the rock. Um, the other thing, let's say you have a, a geode. Let's say you got a geode like that, um, or even a bigger one that you have. What you need to do is, you can split it in half, and some people like to have um, a complete half that to show the inside. Okay, well that's, that's great. Uh, you could do that, you could cut it, you could slab a little bit, but you're gonna end up taking whatever is left and add it to a two by four piece of wood and use the water glass to glue it in. And this way you will not lose nothing. You will cut everything all the way to the end. And you could watch my video on that and it will explain to you how to do it. So now the other thing you gotta watch 
is the height of this, of your rug, how far this one is going to go. You need to be able, when you go in, your, your 10 inch blade, it's only, from the center, it's only 5 inches. So really, you're not cutting 10 inches or even 5. You want to be less than that in order to cut it out. And you got to make sure that how far this one is going to go. So if everything is okay, like this one here, then you're good to go. All you have to do is just move it forward, you know, and adjust the distance. And then you go in and you start slabbing. So this, this old restore it here, and um, this one here, it has a, a automatic feed, so I just put it in, close it, put the cover on, just walk away, there is a, a stop um, at the end, that it will shut the uh, switch off. Right now it's not plugged, so it doesn't go by itself, and uh, uh, that's all the restore it. So in order to... Uh, order yours, I need to know the distance between the tie rod or the threaded rods from center to center. You could be off a little bit, doesn't matter because I'm going to have clearance on these holes to put, and especially the one on the top, it's going to be bigger or larger uh, holes than the bottom one. And they're going to be marked up top and going to be marked up bottom, so you know which which way they're going to go. Some uh, of other uh, machines that um, they have another plate with ribs and it, it might interfere, it will interfere with the corners here. So if you have that, you just let me know, even if you take a picture from the top to show how it looks like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these off. and. Uh, just relieve them so when you put them in you, know, you won't have any problem. That mainly it happened to the bottom portion. The top one it's always free, it's going to go up and down. So um, this is basically what this is. Let me unscrew this one. When, when, you, <clears throat> when you loosen the, um, uh, the rock out, open this one, open that one, here you go. This is all there is to it. And it's going to stay because you got the stop knot here. <clears throat> like I said, the stop knot is adjustable. It can go up and down. Uh, it doesn't matter. Screws, screws or bolts, you could adjust them. There is about uh, four threaded holes. So you could go, uh, and it depends on, on the size. This is just kind of long, so I got four. Uh, if it's shorter, I might be able to put only three, depending on the on the size here. You don't want to have it crammed or too close to each other. It doesn't help. So that's basically what it is. So let me know um, what you think. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, um, just let me know uh, if you need one. Uh, remember that um, I'm doing also the other ones uh, which is the grabber that the original one that I start doing. I'm still doing those. But a lot of people was they were asking about uh, can they put it on a 10 inch saw well <clears throat> you can and you can't I mean if you can put it in uh, you will lose some uh, distance uh, or height and so you you're tied down with just a smaller rocks so this way here we're taking away your existing uh, vice plates the top and the bottom and you're replacing them with this now there is another thing that I didn't show you, which is <clears throat> if you don't need this, I mean, you can still use it as a regular vise. So you could put it here, like so. Okay. You could put any rock that you want. Make sure you take the bolts off, and all you have to do is lock it in position, so it goes any any size that you want. All you have to do is just lock it. Now this is not going to move. So you could use it two ways. You could use the bolt. You could use the bolts to hold your rock, you know, uh, if it's small. If you have a big one, you just take the bolts off, put the rock in, clamp it like the regular way you do it, 
and keep cutting. So I hope you like this video and please comment and don't forget to subscribe.